Do you like seeing coloring supplies? Well, today I have a big, big, big coloring supply haul for you. Let's get into it. Before I get into this haul, here's something you need to know. A lot of the things that you will see in this coloring supply haul, well, I bought them because of some of you. That's right. You made recommendations and suggestions and you told me what you like. And, you know, I just, you know, went and checked it out and decided that I need to get that. So whenever you see something pop up and it is something that you probably recommended to me or you mentioned that you use. Now, some of you did not recommend <laughs> some things. You just told me what you used, and I checked it out and I decided to buy it for myself. I will put your username on the screen and that will indicate that that is from you, your comment, okay? Let's get into this big haul because I have a lot of stuff. This is from September through December. I got a lot of ground to cover. Let's go. Now it is time to get into this haul, y'all. The first group of items that you will see come from Amazon. I have a lot of stuff that I bought from Amazon. So bear with me while I go through them. I won't spend too much time on them. I'm just pretty much showing you what I have, okay? The first thing that I have here is from Cali Art. They sent me a thank you card with the Cali Art markers. Inside of this is a warranty and a thank you note and all that stuff. And then the test page for the markers. Here I have a hundred Cali art markers. These are alcohol markers. Let me open them up to just kind of show you what I'm working with here. There is no little case in here so that these can stand up. That's what I do not like about this, but you know, I'm okay with it. As long as they sent me a bag to put the markers in, I'm cool. I've used these and so far I like them. These are my Cali art markers alcohol markers. All right, let's get on to the next item from Amazon. Next, I have some blender pencils from Karen Dosh. I discovered that I really, really like these. So you know what I did? I ordered two of these bad boys and they work very, very well. I am impressed with these. Up next, I have some watercolor pens from Karen Dosh. I saw somebody talking about these on YouTube and I decided to try them because I'm trying to get into more watercolor this year in 2024. But what I like about these is that you can pull the water up. It's like a syringe. And of course, this little squeezy thing here on all three of them, you squeeze it a little bit to have water come down onto your brush. And the brushes are different, and I'll show you the differences. Now this one is more open. It's more of an open brush. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's more open. And I have used this once or twice. This brush here is the black one, and it is more, it's a finer brush, and it's tapered. It's finer, has more of a a fine point on the end there. Okay. That's the black one and the red one here is kind of fat and it is tapered too, but it's not as fine as the other one. Okay. So these are water color pen brushes that I can use when I'm using watercolor or when I'm using my color pencils that are watercolor pencils. I have some more water brush <laughs> pens. I bought these top from Tombow. I'm going to open them and take them out. I did not open them. I haven't opened them yet. So hold on while I figure it out here. <laughs> They come in a set of three and I do use Tombow and I wanted to get something that was specific for Tombow. So I have three of these. I don't know if there is a difference in these or not. 
there is a difference just like what i showed you with the karen dosh these are the tombow water brush pens i guess yeah used with the tombow dual brush pens and i do have the dual brush pens and i wanted to get more into doing watercolor with them i probably need to open them because i didn't know that these were different tips i thought they were really all the same so let me open them i'll be right back to show you how they look But you got fine brush, a medium brush, and a flat brush. Yeah. Here's what it says on the back so you'll know exactly what these are ideal for. Ideal for use with Tombow dual brush markers, easily blend water-based markers, watercolor paint, and pencils or crayons. Fill with water to blend and add ink or dye. Gently squeeze the barrel to apply blend with soft brush tip clean with water after use available in small medium and flat tips so i think i have small medium and flat tips and it says it fills up to 5.5 milliliters all right so let's take a look at these pens right quick i didn't even know i had three different types of pens i just thought they were all the same that goes to show you how i be how much i pay attention to what i order sometimes now let's take a look at this. I like the way the pen looks and feels. Yeah. And it has Tombow water brush on here. Let me take the top off. This is the flat tip here. It's very soft. The other ones that I showed you from Karen Dosh, the, the two, they're not as soft because they kind of feel more like a, a foam type of product. The ones that were more pointy but this one is a brush okay flat brush that is the blue one and i guess how do you get the water in here you twist it off and you just fill it with water then put it back on screw it back on okay this is the flat tip which is the blue one and I have the other one here, which is the green one. It is more of a, it's a finer point. It's tapered just like what I showed you from the Karen Dosh. Okay. And for getting the water out, you just squeeze. Yeah, you just squeeze here a little bit and it'll somehow distribute a little bit of water down onto your brush. So the more you squeeze, the more water comes out. The less you squeeze, the less water comes out. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, with this is not really green. This is more of a teal color. Okay, the next one is green. Looks more like a lime green. And this is a very fine. So this is the fine tip. And the teal green that I just showed you is the medium tip. So this is very fine. All right and the flat tip is the blue so these are the tombow water brush pens i think they're cute <laughs> moving right along to the next item the next item that i have is this drawing gum i actually ordered both of these as a set i ordered this because i want to do backgrounds using watercolor and other type of wet medium well I didn't know how to do it, but thank goodness for YouTube University, I found an excellent tutorial and I will link it here in the cards as well as in the description box on how to do that. And as a result of me watching that tutorial, I hit up Amazon and I ordered this. So whenever I get the courage, I will be doing my backgrounds and using this to protect my illustration from getting destroyed by the watercolor. This is supposed to uh, repel the water and the wet media and protect your illustration. Moving right along to the next item. The next group of products that I have are watercolor pencils. These are the 12 tinted watercolor pencils from Stedler, the design journey. You can see the swatches here. Let's take a look at the pencils 
inside the case is information about these pencils and the other pencils that Stedler sells in the design journey. Let's take a look at these pencils. Now, when I hold it like this, you will notice that the actual color of the pencils, let me move up closer so you can see, because I am not taking these out. <laughs> the colors are on the top, tippy tippy tops of each of the pencils. When I first saw these pencils, I didn't know this until I started filming this video. So this is new to me. And the reason why I didn't know, because if you look at these pencils at a glance, they look dark and it's kind of hard to tell what color they are. And I, at a distance, when I open them up and look at them, they kind of look really dark. And now that I look a little bit closer, I can see the color. But at first, when I opened these up, I did not know what color they were. But you can see the color here and you also can see the color here. These are watercolor pencils that someone recommended that I try. So you know who you are, you're on the screen. Thank you for the recommendations and I will be using them in the future. Up next, I have these from Stedler 48 Luna watercolor pencils. And I have opened them <laughs> because I was trying to see something. I wanted to see if the name of the color is on the pencil and it is not, but they do however have the names of the colors and the number of that color on the back of the box. So I cannot throw this away. <laughs> I think that they have the pencils in order the way they have them placed in here. You have the corresponding color with the corresponding number and name. Because on each of these pencils, they don't have the name of the color. All I see is the number 137. And it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of gold. It's like a gold looking color. The only number that they have on here is 137. And that is on all of the pencils. So I have to go in order of how they have things when I do swatch these. Somebody recommended this to me, the Luna 48, and also the Tinted Watercolor. Thank you so much. The next one that I have is from Faber-Castell. These are the 36 Albrecht Durer. I know I butchered that name. And I will be doing a search on how to say this. But these are watercolor pencils that someone says that they really, really love. And that's all they use. Inside of here, we have information about the pit graphite, graphite mat. Okay. And then also more information about Faber-Castell and these pencils here. More information on how to use them, which... I think is a good thing because I have never used watercolor pencils. You can use them for dry techniques. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's in here. And I forgot to mention something. When I ordered these right here, they sent me some pencils. I'm going to show you those pencils. I'll be right back. I have to grab them. All right, I have what came with these Luna watercolor pencils. Now, I did not order these. When I ordered these, this was something that was extra that they included with the purchase. These are the Lumograph 100 Plus writing and drawing pencils. And here is what's in here. There are one, two, three, four pencils. This is one writing pencil. It is the Norris number two. This is the Mars Lumograph Aqua Rail 4B. And then the next one is Mars Lumograph Black 2B. And the last one, which is a blue pencil, is an ErgoSoft Aqua Rail. And they also have an eraser in here as well. 
these are all of the watercolor pencils that I bought from Amazon, but I still have more Amazon stuff. Let's get to it. Next, I have some regular color pencils. These are premium color pencils from Color It 72. It comes with a travel case, a sharpener, and a stand. I think these are good starter pencils because you can travel with them and you have a pencil sharp. This is the stand to put your pencils in and this is the case. I may have already showed you this in one of my other videos, but I'm showing it to you again, okay? So these are Colorit's color pencils and I have used them, swatched them. I like them so far. There is also a pencil sharpener in here. So if you just want to get a neat little set like this, and you're starting out with adult coloring, I think this is the way to go. Easy to put away. And that is it from Color It, 72 color pencils in this set. Moving right along. The next set of color pencils that I have are from Faber-Castell. These are the Black Edition. And I bought these because of another subscriber. Thank you so much for recommending these. These are the Black Edition. I have 50 of these bad boys. I know they come in a bigger set, but I just opted to get the 50 set. Now, one thing that I like about these is how they come packaged. Notice on the front of the box how you can hold, stand these pencils up. Well, that's because how they come packaged. Check it out. They come packaged in this and you can adjust it to stand up your pencils. How cool is that? That is so cool. You see that? Now you can see the colors, but I have swatched these and I'm gonna show you the swatches. It says, these pencils are extra smooth, super soft lead for rich, brilliant colors. Ideal for light colored and dark papers. And again, you see that? Yeah, I like that. So I will more than likely keep these pencils in the original packaging because I can just take these bad boys out of the packaging, stand them up and just reach. Now, the actual color of the pencil is not written on here. What they have is a number that's 706 there. I have swatched these pencils. I'm gonna show you a quick peek at the swatches. Here they are. And as you can see, they are number coded. And they're not too bad. This is on cream colored type of paper. And I think that's it. Not a lot of pencils, but I think the colors still are nice. All right. Moving right along to the next set of color pencils that I have. The next set is from Artists. Is that how you say it? Artics, <laughs> I said artist. I have 72 of these colors and these came highly recommended from more than just one person. Even if some of you did not recommend them, you said, I use Artix and I really like how they work in Johanna Basford's books. Or somebody says, you should try Artix. So I did, these are the 72, but I ended up recently buying the 126 count because they were on sale. Your girl wasn't paying $50 for those pencils. They went on sale. And I think it was a coupon or something. I got them for like 29 or something like that. Anyway, I'll show those to you too as well. But these are the 72. I have been using these like crazy. And one of the things that happened to me as I was using these pencils as you can see, some of these pencils are down pretty low. And I was sharpening them with my electric pencil, but this was really the breaking point or tipping point for me when I realized I probably need to get me a hand crank or a manual uh, pencil sharpener, and that's what I did. But I've been using these, I've been coloring with them, and I like them a lot. And that is why I bought the 126 collection. I have already swatched these. Let me show you the swatches right quick. 
you see I've swatched these and I like the way they look you have the color of the name for each of the pencils which I like all right I'm not gonna bore you with these because I do have the 126 that I want to show you but overall I really like these pencils I like them a lot now moving on to the 126 set that I have these come in the green box yeah 126 these are saturated colors soft core artist quality the same with these the boxes are different colors because I guess to indicate the number this has 72 these have 126 but this is how they look I have more pencils to play around with I am so excited and of course the name of each color is on the pencil yes I have a lot more purples a lot of more greens yes 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 a lot of more blues than what I had I'm so excited but yeah these as I stated were on sale because they were $50 I had put them on my wish list <laughs> but when I saw that they were lower and then one of you told me hey they're they're on sale if you use that coupon you can get them for like 26 dollars i think it was somewhere around that ballpark and i did that i'm so glad i'm so happy because i like these pencils moving right along with other goodies that i have these artix pencils i really like them now i'm thinking i might not keep these in the original packaging i don't know it's kind of hard they'll this right here will slip out so i don't know maybe i'll get me a case of some sort i'm having some issues with these Ugh. then my little box is torn oh my goodness yeah i'm probably going to put these all in a, a case yeah that's what it looks like but i do like the packaging now moving right along to the other goodies that i have more color pencils now i bought these because of another youtuber she said she really likes these she was just coloring on a live stream and i happened to catch her live and she was coloring with these pencils these weren't the only pencils that she was using but she used these and she said she likes them and one thing about these pencils is that they are oil colored pencils and i lean toward using oil colored pencils those are my preference these have on here finding the lost girl but everything else oil color pencil everything else is in a different language as you can see and it has a lot of that language I don't know if it's it says Hong Kong I don't know stationary yeah I don't know but the deal is is that they were like $25 but there was a coupon and I got them for $14 72 that's pretty good and with these they included a coloring book and it says coloring book for adult it says animal and there are a lot of animals in here to color that's pretty cool that they included a coloring book with the order i wasn't expecting that i was just expecting the pencils so they have this that came with my order and also this page here that says color cards for fine art now let's take a look at these pencils the company is this right here h-e-s hesh hing ping okay so this is an asian company an asian color pencil brand these are how they look they kind of remind me of mondo llamas the way they look we have 36 i believe up top here and 36 on the bottom so it's just two trays of colored pencils i have not swatched them or anything i do like the way they looked let me take a, a look at one of the pencils here this is cracked hmm i don't know what's going on here let's see how many are like this this is the only pencil 
that I see like that. Maybe it's just that one. I just happened to pick up a pencil that's cracked on the end, but you can see what I'm talking about. You see that line and that line there? This is the only pencil that's like that. On the pencil, they do not have the name of the color, but they do have Draw Your Inspiration right here. And I know you can't see that because it is gold and then this pencil is yellow not yellow but orange it's hard to see that it says draw your inspiration and then it has h and x and then some type of asian lettering script or something on the side here and i think that's the case for all of these pencils yeah so they don't have the name of the color or even a number on these pencils these are the finding the lost girl 72 pencils i have one more item to share with you from amazon and then there will be no more amazon stuff it'll just be stuff from other stores the last item that i have from amazon is this pencil sharpener it says angel five ones color royal dash three since 1960. this is a pencil sharpener from japan or made in japan you see on the side all this writing I can't read that. <laughs> it's not English. Nothing is actually English on here except for the name of the company that says Carl. Okay, made in Japan. I ordered this from Amazon. I don't remember how much it costs, but I will put the link to everything in the description box. All right. This is a manual hand prank pencil sharpener. And I probably should have opened this before I started filming the video, but it is what it is. I'm not, I am not cutting this out. So this is a hand crank pencil sharpener. It had pretty good reviews and I want to start using that type of pencil sharpener because I think it might be better on my pencils in the long run. As you can see, we have our blades here they feel kind of sharp there's some plastic here i'm going to take that off and we have the opening here the thing about this pencil sharpener is that you can sharpen different types of pencils in here and you can see that here so you can do hexagonal, round, uh, triangle, those types of pencils. It's not something that you mount or anything. You just, you can sit it on your desk. And if you notice on the bottom, it has these little four dots here. They have some like little texture, like rubber. It feels like rubber. And so that helps the pencil sharpener to stay on the surface that it's on without slipping and sliding off. So this is my new hand crank pencil sharpener. I cannot wait to use it. That is it for all of my Amazon orders. Up next, I have two colored pencil sets from Castle Arts and I did order these from Castle Arts. The first one that I have to share with you is this one. This is the portrait collection. This is how it looks inside. On the inside of the tin, they have the names of the colors as well as the swatches. You get a book from Castle Arts about the universal system. I guess everything that they sell in their product range. You get a booklet about the portrait collection. It has what the portrait collection is all about. And they have all of their different collections i do have some of these i have the landscape collection i have the flower collection and these two collections that i'm going to show you today they also have on the back here the swatches and inside of this how to do this portrait here begin your portrait by outlining your subject it tells you the colors that they use this is the portrait collection from castle arts that i have 
The next collection that I have is the Seascapes. And this is how it is. One of the things that I did not say is that there are 24 pencils and you can see 24 on the top, but 24 pencils come in the set. This is the Seascape. And these are all the pencils that you, or colors you would need to do a Seascape. You have your swatches on the inside of the top lid of the metal tin. Also, they have their Seascape book and I will open up and show you that one. And they also have the little booklet or brochure about all the products that they carry. So this is the Seascapes collection. And they tell you about the Seascape collection. And they tell you about all the other collections that they have. And on the back... There are swatches of the colors that are in this collection and open it up and we have a seascape. They tell you, give you the step-by-step -step guide on how to draw it, what colors to use and all that good stuff. All right. Those are all of the pencils that I ordered from castle art in september i went to michael's and i bought a few of these alcohol markers so first i bought maybe two little six packs and then i realized that i do like these and so you know what i did i went and bought the larger size it is a set that you will see in michael's that's a big set of the artist lofts they were on sale they're originally all like 149 so roughly 150 but they were on sale and I got them for 109 when I bought them. So I went ahead and got the set only after I had tried six count that I had bought. I really liked them and I said, well, that's a good sale. Let me go ahead and do that. These are the Artist Law alcohol markers, alcohol based and the one tip is blunt and the other one is just a brush tip. The other alcohol markers that I showed you from Cali Art, those are not brush tips. And I didn't even show you, <laughs> but they are more or less the bullet tip. It's a harder tip. These are not like that. These are pretty soft. And what I like about getting these markers is that when I run out of one, I can just go to any Michaels and buy one. These are the Artist Loft alcohol markers. I really like these. They're very good. From Michaels, I bought this Artist Tape. And this is something that I will be using when I am doing watercoloring for my background to protect my page. And so I got this Artist Tape that should not like cause the paper to tear it's it's sticky but it's not too sticky where when you pull it up then it'll tear your paper it's not that type of tape so this is the artist tape that i have from michael's and the other things that i bought i bought some pencil cases like this to store my color pencils in and they come in the clear and i also got them in the two-tone color as well I like that they snap like that and also that you can stack them up and then when I'm coloring if I need to get some pencils out I can just have them in their case already and I can just reach and plus what I like about this is that I can see the pencil that's it for Michaels moving right along okay Next, I have some items that I bought from Hobby Lobby. Things are still in the bag. The first thing that I have is this fine touch watercolor set. It costs about $6.49. I'm gonna show you how it looks right quick. These are the watercolors. It comes with a little brush and then they have some watercolor in a tube here. This is white. I like how these look. When I went to Hobby Lobby, the day I went, I didn't go there to buy all this stuff that I'm showing you. I went there to 
look for a blender pencil and I came out with more things. Don't you just love it when you go into a store and you walk out with more than what you bargained for. The next thing that I have is some watercolor pencils and these are the Master Touch Fine Arts. It includes, oh, I haven't even opened this, <laughs> but it says it, in, it includes a paintbrush. It's artist grade, highly pigmented, highly, I can't read today, highly pigmented and smooth lay down. It says $19.99, but I didn't pay $19.99 for this because on that day that I went into Hobby Lobby, everything that is master's touch, I think was like, I think 20 or 40% off. I can't remember, but that's the only reason why I bought these is because they were on sale and I wanted to try some, another different brand of watercolor pencils. That's that from Hobby Lobby. I also got this. This is a color mixing guide and it cost $5.99. I think it was cheaper than that actually because because in addition to the master's touch items being on sale there were some other things that they had marked down as well so and it tells you how to use this chart when you're mixing your colors all right so i went into hobby lobby to pick up some blending pencils specifically i was looking for the derwent so I have the Derwent blending pencil and burnishing and it has the sharpener and an eraser in here. And then I saw these cheap blender pencils for about $2.99 Hobby Lobby. The brand is this right here. That is it for everything that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe. The next items that I have to share with you are from the dollar store. You know what? I didn't know that they had a lot of good stuff. Well, I don't know the quality, but they had a lot of good stuff as far as arts and crafts in the dollar store. Now, I went to the dollar store for one thing and I came out with more stuff. So check out what I have here. I have some acrylic paint and I can't remember how much this cost. Of course, it's the dollar store, and I don't think it really costs that much. This is high quality, vibrant colors, bright finish. It's great for sketch pads, canvases, crafting wood, ceramic, and more. Eight pieces or eight tubes are in here, and you can see the colors here. And then I saw that there is a metallic one, and I grabbed that up too. They have the colors shown here. It says it has a built-in palette wells for mixing your paint in here. The brand, it says art skills. And on the back, I didn't even really know this was on the back. And it tells you how to mix colors and what makes what. Advanced mixing. Pretty cool. On the back of the metallic one, it just has some things that they have colored. These professional quality metallic paints come in eight shimmery shades to add just the right sparkling effects to your acrylic paintings. Next, I have some, what is this? Metallic watercolors. This is also art skills. I don't know how well you can see the shimmer, but these are metallic. It says just add water to create shimmering watercolor paintings next i saw these also from artist skills these are oil pastels 15 of them are in here it tells you how to use the oil pastels keep a paper towel nearby wipe off your oil pastels so your colors will not become murky i think that's it and i actually have the receipt in here <laughs> pastel acrylic paint paintbrush included add detail and designs to craft stationery and more. the oil pastel was four dollars and fifty cent the acrylic paint three dollars metallic watercolor 450 the other acrylic paint four dollars and fifty cent other acrylic metallic five dollars so not too bad 
it wasn't it didn't cost a lot that's what i got from the dollar store and i have one more sack of goodies that i bought from where did i get it you'll see it in just a second this is from the family dollar store and they have another store in there with them i think it's the dollar tree but anyway this is something that i got it's called crafters square art palette so you can put your paint in these little wells i didn't know it had six of these in here i thought it was just one that goes to show you what how much i be paying attention i thought it was only one but there are six of these in here and i have some more acrylic paint you think i have enough acrylic paint <laughs> this one is acrylic paint it looks like a black color this one is another acrylic paint but it's metallic and the brand is crafters square and then i have a third one and this is also acrylic paint but it is metallic crafters square that's it from the family dollar and i have this set of acrylic paint but i bought this from my local bj's warehouse i've walked by this so many times and i've wanted to buy it and then when i walked by it this last time i noticed it was on sale so i bought it there are 16 colors in here and it says art skills hmm i think that's the same company that yeah it's the same company that i bought the stuff from in the dollar store that is everything that i bought between the months of september and december if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them in the comment section below and until next time keep coloring bye Thank you.